ಬರ್ರಿ ಹೇ ಮಲ್ಲೆ Silambarasan Thesingu Rajendra, nicknamed as Simbu or his initials STR, is an Indian actor, filmmaker and musician in Tamil cinema. He began his acting career by playing roles as a child artist in films directed by his father T. Rajendra before his first lead role in Kadal Alivadillai 2002 under his father's direction and produced by his mother Usha. Silambarasan was born on 3rd February 1983 in Togarapalli, Krishnagiri, Tamil Nadu, as the eldest child of T. Rajinder and Usha Rajinder. He has a younger brother, Kuralarasan, and sister, Ilakya. From early age, he was a devout Hindu and an ardent follower of Lord Shiva. He studied at the Don Bosco Metrolocation High Secondary School. He studied at Loyola College. Silamberson starred in many of his father's films as a child artist until 2002, when he acted in his father's Kadal Alivadillai, his first main role as a hero. Silamberson appeared as a baby in the film Urubai Kada Kili, held it by his father, T. Rajinder. He then started acting in his father's movies from 1995, including Thai Tangai Possum, 
ஒரு வசந்த கீதம் என் தங்கை கல்யாணி எங்க வீட்டு வேலன் மோனிஷா என் மோனலிசா ஒரு தாயின் சபதம் சம்சார சங்கீதம் சாந்தி எனது சாந்தி பெற்றெடுத்த பிள்ளை திருவள்ளா என் சபேஷ் பாபு சிலம்பரசன் பிளேட் இஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ப்ரோட்டாகனஸ் ரோல் என் காதல் அழிவதில்லை இன் டூ தௌசண்ட் டூ டிரெக்டட் பை ஹிஸ் ஃபாதர் ஹிஸ் செகண்ட் ஃபிலிம் வாஸ் டம் இன் டூ தௌசண்ட் த்ரீ விச் வாஸ் லூஸ்லி பேஸ்ட் ஆன் ஜெகன்நாத் டூ தௌசண்ட் டூ கன்னடா ஃபிலிம் அப்பு ஹிஸ் ரிலீஸ் இன் டூ தௌசண்ட் த்ரீ வாஸ் அலை சிலம்பரசன் ஹேஸ் த்ரீ ரிலீஸஸ் இன் டூ தௌசண்ட் ஃபோர் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வாஸ் கோவில் விச் டீல்ஸ் வித் த ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் பிட்வீன் அ ஹிந்து பாய் அண்ட் அ கிறிஸ்டன் கேர்ள் ஆஃப்டர் திஸ் சிலம்பரசன் ஸ்டார்ட் இன் குத்து அ ரிமேக் ஆஃப் த தெலுங்கு ஃபிலிம் டில் Divya Spandana played his love interest. His final release in 2004 was Manmadan, co-starring with Jodhika for the first time and the film became a turning point in his career. Silambarasin's first release in 2005 was the film Totti Jaya, directed by V. Z. Durai. In 2006, he starred in Saravana, directed by K. S. Ravi Kumar. This was the second time that Simbu and Jodhika worked together after the success of Manmadan in 2004. He next starred in and directed Vellavan in 2006 as well as writing its story screenplay and co-dialogue. In 2008, he starred in the action masala film Kali, which was a flop. Later that year, he appeared in another action masala film, Silambattam. In 2010, his film Vinay Tandi Varvaya, directed and written by Gautam Basudev Menon, became a Tamil cult classic film. Director K. Balachandar, an open letter called Silambarasan's performance as his best in his career. In the following year, he appeared in two films. In early 2011, he appeared in the multi-star Vanam in 2011 as Cable Raja, a poor youngster. The film featuring an unsolvable cast was released to positive reviews and subsequently became a hit at the box office. Later that year, his next release was Osti, a remake of the Bollywood film Dabang, in which Silam Brasen played a police officer for the first time in his career. Silam Brasen had only one release in 2012, the film Porta Pori directed by debutant Vignesh Shivan Silambarasan's next project was Balu directed by debutant Vijay Chander the film was released in 2015 after a gap of 3 do- years due to issues actor Vijay helped clear the impediment of the film and aided its release in 2016 Silambarasan starred in the Pandi Raj directed Idinamma Aale alongside Nayanthara Andrea Jeremaya and Suri playing lead roles His next film, Acham Yen Badamana Magada, was his second collaboration with Gautam Menon and A.R. Rahman. In 2017, it was reported that Tilam Brasen had signed up for an English language film. His film, Anbanavan, Asaradavan, Adangadavan, was panned by critics and was commercially unsuccessful. It led to controversies that were reported in the media involving the film's producer, Michael Ryapin, blaming Tilam Brasen for being uncooperative during the film's production. In 2018, he appeared in Manjratham's successful Chekka Chavandavanam as part of an ensemble cast that included Arvind Sami, Vijay Sezbadi and Arun Vijay. In 2019, S.T.R. acted in Vanda Raja Vadan Varavid. Salambarasan starred in the family drama Iswaran as his first film of 2021. The film directed by Susindran was released on the eve of Pungal festival in theaters after the COVID-19 lockdown was lifted in Tamil Nadu on 14 January 2021. clashing with Vijay's master. In preparation for his role, Silambarasen underwent an extremely rigorous weight loss regime, losing 30 kilograms and learned Bharatanatyam. Although the film was moderately successful, Silambarasen's performance was praised and his new persona was well received by the audience. Silambarasen's next release is a political thriller film, Manade, in 2021, directed by Venkat Prabhu, which hit theaters in Diwali. The film was commercially very very successful at the box office Silambaran has frequently worked as a playback singer in the Tamil film industry he first sang in Sonal Dhan Kadala and went on to sing over 90 songs for various composers he predominantly sings in his own films and has collaborated mostly with his friend and fellow composer Yuvan Shankaraja Silambaran also wrote the lyrics for several songs of his films On 27 December 2011, Silambarasan released the non-single Love Anthel for World Peace and Love to promote world peace. It was a non-film single. In 2013, he sang Diamond Girl in Tollywood film Baatshah, directed by Shinu Vaitala, starring Junior Antiar and Kajal Agarwal. 
This was his first venture in Telugu music. He stated in the summer of 2015 that he would collaborate with Yuvan Shankaraja to release a non-film single titled Karma. He composed music and background score for the film Sakka Poda Poda Raja, featuring Sandhanam in the real world. Simbu will be acting in a movie called Paktitala, directed by N. Krishna, starring Simbu, Gautam Karthik, and Priyanka Bhavani Shankar. There are also rumors that there will be a sequel to the previous blockbuster film, BTV, also known as Vinay Tandi Varavaya, directed by Gautam Vasudevan, starring the same people as Simbu and Trisha, music by the same music director, the one and only A. R. Rahman, titled BTV2 or Vinay Tandi Varavaya 2. There are also other rumors claiming that Simbu is trying to revive Manmadan 2, which was his first big huge hit into Tamil cinema, starring Simbu, Trisha, and also even Nayantara. Let's wait and see what happens.